What's up, everybody? DK Dave here, and welcome to PC Building Simulator. Now, it's this isn't a fresh game. I played it a little bit on live stream and attempted to record before, but the footage got corrupted, so I'm just now getting the first video out for you guys here on YouTube. And as you can see, I'm level three. I've got some money in the bank. But now I actually have a good understanding of how the game works, and that way there's kind of less of a learning curve and we can go ahead and get started. But one thing I love about this game, if you guys don't know much about it, it will teach you some computer building basics. It's not heavily in depth. Um, you're not, you can't really use this as a training simulator, but it does have like kind of the business simulation built in. So you have to kind of like order your parts, follow a calendar, like come up here to my calendar. Then like you can see like, when things arrive, like you got bills you have to pay. So I got rent coming up, so I have to make sure I have 500 in there for that. So, yeah, but the general story was your uncle leaves you the business with negative $15 in the account. Because he's like, business is broke. And I took 15 for gas. Bye. And it's like, well, thanks, uncle. Um, So I don't quite remember where I left off, but let's see. Okay, so we got these two here that we got to work on. Uh, boot PC, remove viruses. So we're going to work on this one first. We're going to just pick it up. And you get to bring it over here to your workbench. We're going to set it down. And then we go in and you basically have to just remove the cases or the side panels by doing the thumb screws. It all, a lot of it's automated. It kind of reminds me of a mix between house flipper and car mechanic simulator without like, not as in depth though. So, you know, we're... We got the PC in here. and Basically, I don't even know why I removed the side panel because I'm talking. That's why. <laughs> so you have your menu here of tools, things you ordered. So it's like this is stuff like I got a broken motherboard because I had to do a motherboard swap in one of the earlier ones. So I'm going to put the side panel back on. Go ahead and uh, screw these in. So I did get an upgrade where I will auto hook up the wires. So I got to be hooking up the wires every time. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button. And then back out. Wow, that thing is loud. Some of these computers are way too loud. Now, I do need to go ahead and install my USB drive because that's got all of our tools on it. So there we go. We can now come over here, add programs. And it wanted me to do a virus scan. So we'll install our virus scan software. And it goes super quick. Or it used to go super quick. That's interesting. What's it doing? All right, reboot. I'm going to back out because this thing has one of the loudest starting sounds I've ever heard. It's even loud when you're not on it. But when you're clicked in, oh my lord, it's like way louder. All right. Run the virus scan. Boom. Super quick. It's insanely fast. So hovering over it, it says, yep, leave by doors all we got to do. It is ready to go. So I'm going to go back, shut it down, and pick it up. And then we go put it by the door. And then we come back to our computer and open our email. And one of these was, was it? Okay, we can discard this one. That was the motherboard one. So this is the one they just wanted the virus scan. We'll hit collect. Boom, we got paid. Get rid of that email. This guy wanted upgrade four gigs of RAM, run 3D mark. Now I'm pretty sure I ordered RAM I don't know if we have it, but let's go ahead. We'll grab the computer and check and see if we have the RAM in because I don't remember if it arrived or not. So we'll go ahead, click on this, and then we will bring up our install. We'll go to memory. We do not have our memory. Okay, so I'm going to leave that guy there. I hope I ordered RAM. I honestly don't know. I don't remember. And there's no way to check on previous orders, is there? Um, doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're going to go back to email. And this is cool because it's kind of like an actual desktop. Like I can move these around. I can make them full screen. You actually have to double click to open the icons, which is super cool. Uh, but all right. So we want to accept some jobs. So I probably accepted the job without really reading ahead and didn't order the RAM. But I'll wait another day, see if any RAM shows up. If no RAM shows up, then we will take care of that. The following parts... Um, wait, we've added the following parts to our range. Okay, I can now order new graphics cards. That's cool. 
And all the parts they list are real parts. Like, that's the kind of the cool thing is they actually got all the branding in this game. So you can actually order parts like uh, 3D Mark. That's software I really use in real life for stress testing computers and testing hardware. Like, it's super cool. But let's see. We got this guy. It's, uh, I hear you work with computers. Uh, so my rig is running really slow lately. I hope, I'm um, hoping for 8 gigabytes of memory. If you can, uh, wait, if you can stretch to that. Can you run 3D Mark to check so it doesn't overheat? Can you get that done by in three days? So they want this in three days. They need it by the 18th. Eight gigs of RAM. I don't know what's already in the computer, but I'm going to accept it. We're going to go ahead and order eight gigs of RAM. Going to go to the shop. Memory. Ooh, nope. Clicking too quick. So I'm just going to order two of these guy. Uh, go up to our cart, 80 bucks, 30 shipping, and we got next day delivery, going to order now. And so his computer should be on the way in transit. It'll be here hopefully tomorrow when the RAM shows up. This guy, what do we got here? Bit of a crisis here. I'm supposed to be helping out. Uh, movie Mania. Okay, I kind of don't care about your life story. Replace hard drive. So what are they looking for? Um, Usually... Oh, this is, where, where do they say? Um, and so usually I rip my Blu-rays, my PC, so I can do more detail on the cloud. Uh, can you do something? I need to get this article written. Um, okay. There's his name, blah, blah, blah. Uh, by the way, if you can get a hold of a copy of Sonic Monk Trilogy, I do recommend giving it a watch. Okay. He's giving me more stuff. Oh, you. You can skip the second half of the third. Okay, I don't care. It just says replace hard drive. All right, so we'll have to wait and see what he has and then replace it because I don't want to order the wrong thing. So that one's in transit. This guy, I really hope the Ram's on its way. I don't know. But because of that, we don't know. We're just going to call today and head over to the door. And then we just go in day. Job must be complete. That's So that's... Oh, boy. Okay, so we'll go back to work. It's the next day. And here we got RAM. Our other RAM did not show up. So that other computer, I need to order RAM. Like, it's gear, it's confirmed at this point. Upgrade. This is the one that needs RAM. Got to be completed in two days. We'll do it right now. This guy we want to go and put back. I'm going to bring this one over here and put him here. And then upgrade. There we go. Put this guy here. And then we will click in it and gonna pull. Oh, that's interesting. Just one screw at the top. All right. So where's the RAM? The RAM perfect is not blocked by the CPU cooler. At least I don't believe it is. So those of you who don't know how RAM is in place, there's like these little knobs that push back and then you can pull the RAM out. Perfect. Yes. Eight gigs of RAM. Now, hopefully his system is not too old that he can't use the four gig sticks we ordered. This is all the old RAM I've been pulling out. I've just been keeping it. I know I can sell it, but I don't want to. All right, let's go ahead and open those. Wait, nope. I'm going to open this one. Because you want to do RAM in parallel. So it's first slot, third slot, then second slot, fourth slot. That's how you put RAM in. Uh, memory. Wait a minute. I do have it. That's interesting. I, I have another stick of RAM. Maybe I can do that other job. Okay. We'll attempt. Yeah, it's showing. I, that wasn't there. That's weird. Huh. Well, we'll put that in the other computer. I don't know why all of a sudden I all... Uh, maybe I got three in today and I just didn't notice. All right. Anywho, we got tools. Going to put our USB drive in here. Boom. I'm going to power it up. Back out. So that's doing its thing. And then I need to get this workbench up and going because I'm level three and I can, but it's $1,500, which I don't have. But once I have it, I'll be able to have two computers going at once. We got to install 3D's Mark or 3D's Mark. What am I thinking? I'm mixing this between 3D's Max, which is a 3D animation software. No, 3D Mark Advanced Edition which is super cool that they actually have that in this. I love that they did that because I have three, like I said, I have it in real life and 
anytime I do anything to my computer, it's the first thing I run. Go ahead and run it. And now it's going to do its little stress test. Make sure that all the hardware is good. If you can pass the 3D Mark stress test, your your hardware is it's in good case. It's in good standing if you can pass their test. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the side panel back on because it looks like we don't need to worry about getting back in here. Usually the last thing you want to do is remove or is put the side panel back on. Cuz I know I know so many people they'll work on a computer, they'll open it up, change something, close it and then they check it. And it's like, "No, don't do that cuz if you got to get back in there, you're just wasting time." All right, that's going. We're waiting on that. So this guy is next and then this guy was what were you? Boot up or place hard drive. So we need to find out what hard drive he has. We need to get the RAM in there. So we're going to knock out most of what we have in the shop today, which is going to be awesome. Because we need more money. We need a lot of money. Because I want a second workbench so I can start doing high-end machines. Right now we're doing all kind of low-end machines. Man, this this thing has taken forever. And also, when, how can I get this? Must be level 6 to build storage cabinet. I'm hoping once I have the storage cabinet, I can actually, like, keep inventory. And then, like, all the RAM and stuff I have on me, I can organize. That'd be nice. All right. Now we're just waiting around, not doing anything. All right. It's done. So we're going to go ahead, close this, power it down. It, it passed. That is powered down. Then when you hover over it. Not plugged in. Yeah, I know it's not. I didn't unplug it. That's interesting. But what's it matter at this point? It's done. It done. I'm come over here. Email. So the one that had to be done. Yep, done. Collect. 250 bucks that quick. We just unlocked some new parts. Yes, some more AMD Ryzen's. Some more GTX graphics cards. Some R9's graphics cards. Go ahead and get rid of that email. Um, get rid of that. I keep deleting my emails as they come up. Let's see if we can get this guy knocked out. Because we got his we got his email on the 10th, which means we got his computer on the 11th. Because I almost always accept him the first day. It is the 16th. I've had his computer nearly a week. And that's because I apparently did not order the RAM. Or I ordered the RAM on, like, delayed shipping. Because I wasn't thinking. Because if you don't do next day shipping, it's a lot cheaper. All right. So let's go ahead... Upgrade to four gigs. So just like before, we're going to undo the case. And it looks like, yeah, I can get right into his RAM. No problem. There we go. Yes, pull that stick right out. And then memory. Boom, right there. Four gig chip right back inside. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and, oh, we got to power it on. The power button. Boot to OS. Done. Oh. Also, it'd be smart if I remember I need to install my jump drive. Every computer I gotta do this. How, how am I forgetting to do it? Click here. 3D, 3D mark. Alright. Yep. That's what it wants. And I love how you can back out while things are doing stuff. Like, you are not restricted to it at all. So when I have the second workbench, I can bounce back and forth and just really knock out some work. I can eventually get a third, which would be really productive. So that's exciting. Going to go ahead and click run. So that one is going. And then this guy, we just got to figure out the hard drive. All right. And it's done. Not the best score. 2,122. Eh. All right. Shut down. I mean, these aren't exactly high-end gaming rigs here. Go ahead and drop that there. We'll go ahead and pick this guy up. Kind of cut down on walking. We'll drop it off. We'll go here. Collect. Discard. What we got here? New parts available. Yes. You unlock new parts after almost every job. It's great. Upgrade to 8 gigs of RAM. Again. Like what? It's like complete in, complete in two days. What are with, What's with these deadlines? Like why do these people need RAM by this certain day? I don't like it's it's a sweet game coming out. What's going on? Right, so this guy needs eight gigs of RAM. Same thing. So I'm going to accept. Go to the shop. And order. Order that. All right. Bye now. 
So those should be here. It's in transit. Oh, how did I miss this one? Diagnose and fix. Ooh. We actually have one that might require some thinking. All right. Uh, my gaming rig isn't booting anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. Can you diagnose it? Uh, can you diagnose what's wrong with it? It seems to power on okay. The fans go round, but it doesn't seem to get further than the bio screen. Can you have a look and fix whatever is wrong with it? Now we're now we're talking. Now we're getting into my into my interests. Yes. Diagnose what's wrong. This mission requires you to figure out what's wrong with the PC before being able to order parts. Done. Now we're getting into my wheelhouse. Now I love that. All right. So we got that going on. This guy, what was this guy? Power, uh, replace hard drive. Well, what do we even have in here? Because I'm going to have to order it and we'll have to do it tomorrow. So the hard drive is 500 gig easy store hard drive. All right. 500 gig easy store. All right. Hard drives. Wait. Storage. Nope. Why did, why did it do that? Storage. Here we go. All right, um, easy store 500, easy store 500, right there, order. Oh, that's shipping, blah, all right. I probably could get away with putting that one off since there's no deadline, but I feel bad because part of me is like, if that was my computer, I would want it fixed immediately. So that's how I'm treating them. So I'm probably making my project, uh, my blah, words, why are they hard? Uh, I'm probably making my profit margin just garbage by doing that. All right. But well, we got that on there. Parts are ordered. We'll call it a day. God, I wish work was like that. Where it's just like, mm, can't do anymore. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. End the day. And you do got to be careful the first time you're playing when you end your day. I, I like skipped more than one day because I didn't realize that it had changed. All right. But go to work. What do we got in the mail? Our RAM, our hard drive. We're good to go. So first thing I got to do is get this new hard drive in here. Gonna come around here, take off the back panel. Take the screws out. Oh, gotta, there we go. So we need to remove these wires, pull out the drive, and then put in, oh shoot. Um, I didn't realize it had two drives in there. I really hope I did the right one. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Um, oh, wait, what did I just do? Okay. Uh, storage. Broken. Okay, good. I pulled out the broken one. Woo, that was a guess. I got lucky. All right, cables. Go ahead and hook up the cables. And there. And then down there. And we're good to go. All right. And then we can also go ahead and put the front panel back on because we don't really need it. Um, oh shoot, the window one, yeah. Trying to think real quick. I'm like, ah, oh, the window would show the components. So there we go. Power it on up. And then as long as it boots, it is good to go. All right, it booted. Oh, nope. Um, well, that's one way to turn it off. I meant to click into it. No, 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 no. Um, rotate. Put the side panel back on. There we go. There we go. All right. Yes. Pick up. And done. All right. What are you? What are you? What do we got? RAM. And we got diagnose. Okay. Let's get the boring one out of the way. Then we're going to get to the fun one. All right. Oh, look at that case. I love that a lot of the cases are like real cases out there. Because, I mean, this is all real brands. That's the kind of the cool part. Like, I feel like it's, it feels like marketing, but at the same time, it's not. Because if you were to work on computers, you would encounter this stuff. But let's go ahead and remove that. We need to upgrade the RAM. Luckily, this one also, yes. All right. Hit the little clip. Hit the little clip. Below. Come on, there we go. Nope. Pull out the RAM memory now for those of you that don't know a lot about computers and you're wondering why i keep saying ram and then i go to memory the proper name for ram is memory it it, it is memory like memory is ram 
Like it's a lot of people like if you say, oh, you know, something about memory, people think you're talking about the hard drive or the storage when actually RAM is computer memory. It's just a special kind of computer memory. But, all right. So we got that. Go ahead and hit the power button. And we're going to back out. And it's booting. Yes. Now, again, not thinking, didn't put my jump drive in. I'm going to do that. All right. And then since it seems to be booted, are we able to get a successful boot? I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Because you typically want to make sure the computer can boot up all the way before you do that. And that's what we've done. Now we're going to install this. And yes. All right. Restart. Yes. And then real quick. Job must be completed tomorrow. Okay. So rent isn't due till the 25th. For some reason, in the back of my mind, I was thinking rent was 1500 And I was like, I'm going to be absolutely broke when that goes to pay out. But I won't be completely broke. So again, we got this going. We're going to just have to wait for this to finish. And then get this out of here and then get to the fun one in the hallway. I cannot wait. Oh, yes. All right, time for the fun one. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I went ahead and shipped out the other one, collected on that. You'll notice we have $1,700. So it won't boot. That is cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and just get in there. Uh, try turning the power on and see what happens. Off in the BIOS will give you a clue of what's wrong. If nothing happens, then it could be a broken PSU. If, it do if that doesn't help... Uh, work your way through the components until you find the broken one. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and power it on up. And air. No CPU found. No CPU found. What? No CPU found. There's no way it's the processor. No way. So, I'm... Do I actually... Wait, do I gotta, like, actually enter the BIOS? There we go. Yeah, I actually had to hit F2. That's funny. CPU chipset. No CPU found. It's got the RAM. Found... It's found everything but the CPU. Wow. Oh, that's... That, this is cool, though. This is actually... This looks like some of the older BIOS screens that used to be around. Yeah. The RAM. You can overclock it. Settings. Oh, this is so cool. This is really cool. I don't know why I'm so impressed by this. All right. We need a CPU. Uh, the question is, what kind of CPU is it? So let's go ahead, remove the side panel... All right. Then we need to remove this guy. So we got to unplug the fan, pull the fan off. And then what are you? You're a Ryzen. Ryzen 5 quad core 1500X. Ryzen quad core 1500X. So that's what we need to order. Ryzen quad core 1500X. Ryzen quad core 1500X. Add to cart. Oh, you're a pricey chip. Um, let's just add the 30. Get it sent over now. Or get it sent over tomorrow. All right, so... That one, we can't we can't do anything else with it. Uh, is the hallway clear? Yeah, the hallway's clear. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else we got in, because we got some more emails. This one, we know what's wrong. We're waiting on the part. This guy, what do we got here? Um, this is, I think, the film dude or whatever. Uh, upgrade to an 8,000 terabyte of 8,000 terabytes of 8,000 gigabytes of storage, not terabytes. Wow, that would be insane. Yeah, we need 8,000 terabytes. <laughs> oh man, that would be nuts. Eight petabytes. Whoa. No. Um. So 8,000 gigabytes of storage. Except, let's take a look at the shop under storage. We have one terabyte, two terabyte. 
Oh, I see four terabyte drives. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is what we're going to want is two four terabyte drives. So let's go ahead and add to cart, add to cart. And three to five days. You know what? Let's, let's do it. We can put them on hold. So three to five days on this guy. I didn't see a deadline, so we're good. Parts. Upgrade graphics card and four gigs of RAM. Uh, things aren't working fast enough. I think it's the graphics card needs upgrading. Can you also put in four gigs of RAM? The fans seem to be working harder than normal. All right. Yep. So we will order four gigs of RAM. I'm also going to put them on. They don't. I don't know what kind of graphics card they need, though. What kind of graphics card do they want? I don't know what they have. So I can go ahead and order the RAM. I'll wait till it shows up. Then I'll order the graphics card. So we'll go back to the shop here. Um, same thing, three to five. Not going to rush it because I don't even know what graphics card I need. So why pay extra for the RAM? Does I mean, it doesn't make any sense. All right. So that is it for to this day. Let's go ahead and call it. We're also really close to level four. We are, yeah, no deadlines. That's awesome. End day. And go to work. And yes, look at this. We got our Ryzen processor in. We're going to put this sucker in. Hopefully it fixes this one. And oh, whoa, that camera. I don't like how it zoomed in so much. All right. So we need to open this lever. And opening the lever allows you to remove the processor. Because you got to get the processor lined in with the, the pins. Now, in the old days, in the olden days... The processor had the pins on the chip, and those were like little pads that the pins would connect to. They've, in smart engineering, reversed it. Now all the pins are on the motherboard, and then the processor just has connectors that connect to all these tiny little pins, like just rows and rows of pins that stick up. And then you have like a lever that locks the chip in place, so that way there's a firm connection on all of them. So we're going to go ahead and go to our CPU... Pull out our Ryzen here. Yeah, it's the exact same chip. Put it in. And then we have to... We cannot forget thermal paste. You forget thermal paste and your chip will fry itself. That is not a good thing to do. Uh, CPU cooling. This is the one that we, I believe, pulled off of their machine. If I'm not mistaken. No? Is it not? Is it not broken? Wait, what? Where's the fan? Oh, I got a, I got a, I didn't lock the processor. That's what was going on. I was like, why won't it let me do that? Wait, hold on. Pull this guy up. Okay, raise him, lower it back. All right, now we're good. So I got to redo... I figured this out the hard way. You got to redo that anytime you pull the stuff up, which makes sense. Nope, I don't want case fans. I accidentally ordered some case fans that I didn't need because I misunderstood. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we have to connect the wire. Where, where are you, wire? Nope. Oh, no. That is not what I wanted. Now it's just being difficult. Nope. Nope, 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 nope this guy and we want okay all right where where oh i'm dumb i then got to go to cables click there and then there boom connect the cable so you cannot connect any cables without actually picking the cables from the cable section that is there now we just need to boot it and power and let's hopefully it boots. There we go. Boom. Oh, nice background. That's cool. All right. It is good to go. We're going to go ahead and put the side panel back on. Screw it in. These big old thumb screws. You don't need a screwdriver for those. Oh, wrong button. And just pick it up. Unplugging it that way. Yes. All right. Go into our main computer. Was it this guy? Yep. Collect 340 bucks. God, I spent like more than half that on the processor I bought for him. 
Upgrade request. Upgrade CPU, 8 gigs of RAM. Wow, I, I don't know. Everyone just wants a RAM upgraded. That's nuts. So with this guy, let's see. I need to upgrade my PC. My CPU needs to be upgraded. I like 8 gigs of RAM. You know, 3D mark check, blah, 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 blah. So again, I don't know what CPU they have. I don't even know what kind I can order, if it's AMD or Intel. They want 8 gigs of RAM. Again, same thing I can do. Just order two of these. Oh, cart. We're going to go three to five day. Buy now. Accept. We got everything in transit. Uh, we got some of the PCs here, which we can figure out what they need. But other than that, I think we're off to an amazing start. I think that's going to call it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I really want to continue the series. I want to get the next workbench. Then we can start multitasking, bouncing around. And then I really want to get my level up there because I know you can get to the point where you're building like $10,000 gaming rigs and you get to do like the dream stuff that you get to work with the hardware that none of us can afford. And that's the point I want to get to in this game because I think it'd be really cool to build like a high end gaming rig. But anyway, guys, like I said, that'll do it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, DK Dave here. Just wanted to let you know what else I got going on. I got a second channel, DK Dave Gaming Live. I also live stream on Twitch Monday through Friday, so be sure to come over and check those out. I also have a Twitter, a Facebook page, a Discord, where you can come, we can chat, we can have a conversation. I also have a merch store where you can buy awesome shirts. All the links for this are down in the description below, so check them on out.